interested in because I know a lot of you are going to have their own opinions about this. And that's what it's all about. Uh, so, Ty, you want to drop the topic or you want me to drop the topic? I'm, I'm like, I'm a drop the topic. I know, you this is ready. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I keep, you popping, man. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, man. Now, so, for the love today is going to be about um, traditional relationships. Mm -hmm. Previously, we spoke about traditional careers, mm -hmm. you know, with advancements in all forms of technology, uh -huh. but it also comes into relationships as well. Okay. Like, based on everybody advancing, you know, people have changed in what they think of traditional relationships are today. And so, what I've noticed is that a lot of um, times we base our what's tradition off society, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And what they feel is a, a traditional relationship, and I feel like it is slipping away. Okay. I feel like what I feel like is a traditional relationship is stepping away. Mm -hmm. So what I want to know is, um, you know, what is your definition first of a traditional relationship? Because society is going to pose it in steps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the courting or dating and yeah. then the family, the marriage, living together, family, boom. Yeah. So I want to know what you guys think about what is your definition of a oh traditional relationship? God. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. This is crazy. You know, because... I'll give y'all a little insight. Uh, I am in a... I'm dating right now. Okay. I'm dating right now. I've been dating for about five, almost six months now. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that I started dating because I didn't want to get into a relationship not really knowing what I'm with. For example, everybody knows about the whole lust situation. You know, you in lust for three months. Absolutely. Right? So, the next three months, you really should take that time to get to know the person. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. You know, and you kind of go through a little bit of a, a trial and error phase. Because after that lust period is over, almost everything they do bothers you. Right. Seriously. Okay. You know? Well, at least for me. So, you take that next three months to kind of, you know, smooth over things. But it makes it easier for you to get into a relationship because you guys have already been doing things similar to... You know, people Whatever who are in a relationship, exactly. Right. So, yeah, I'm big on dating right now. I'm definitely big on it. Mm -hmm. I got about, like, two more weeks. Or so. No, I got I one more week, I got about two more dating. Two one more, more daters. Till nah, till we, till we get in a relationship. Shout out to her, though. She better be listening. Or I'm going to go home. Wait, spouse. you you, you going to get her in a relationship in two days? And, and I said two, and one more week. In one week? One so why week. don't you just do it now? No, you but, no, you don't know. It's about the process, oh, Howard. Yes. You don't <laughs> skip the process, <laughs> Howard D. I mean, you're like a week less than like the process. Nah. You might as well do it now since you're announcing it. Nah, in a so week. Why, what, that's like what saying, yeah, I'm going I'm to propose to her next week. She knows I'm going to propose to her next week. Why don't you just do it now? Well, she didn't know until I just announced it. Okay, well, then you might as well put it on air now. Put it on air so she can... Put on air so we know it's real. Put it on air so we know Yeah, I'm thinking you guys are That's how she knows it's real right now. That you were making in a relationship? Yeah. in a relationship now? That's how she knows. You why a week? Girl, you had six months. Why? Because we had six months. No, it's not a week anymore. So, also, you basing it off time. Yes. It is a true six months that we have to go through. A Why? Tracing. This is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. It's all about Are the... you testing something? No. Or... No, I'm not. It's all about the process. She is listening in right now. I just got that text. Shout out to What's you. What's she saying, girl? Hey, girl. I knew long time. Oh! Y'all together now. Y'all go together. Yeah. yeah. See? The weakest, the weakest <laughs> right now. Just, you know, that's my... That's the week has come. Wise, what's the difference between dating and in, being in a relationship? Uh, dating? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. I love when love you ask questions. Love it. Love it. I... I I honestly don't know too much of the difference, you know, because for, for me, I'm in a exclusive dating re relationship, so I can't, you know, we're not, we, we're not dating mad other people. But in a situation, if you didn't have, if it wasn't exclusive, you could be dating multiple people, and, you know, you guess you, you choose the best one. Which female is okay with that? I, well... First off, a female that's doing it herself. Right? Not too many, fe true, but not too many females are even about dating right now. They don't want I to do am, the dating thing. They I'm don't, very for dating. Well, that's it, but not everyone wants to do the whole dating, that dating period. No one, not everyone wants to do that. So you're just supposed to jump into a relationship? Well, not to say you're just about to jump, supposed to jump into a relationship, but you know. You feel it out. Yeah, you, you know, a couple, a month, couple two months, and then you just say, oh, well, we're together. A couple days. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks. I was looking at him like, huh? A couple weeks, said, a couple months, and then you. I said a couple of dates. Oh. A couple of dates. Yeah, a couple yeah. of dates. Yeah, but six months. Six, six months. Six months. That's how you guys know it's real. It's not a pass by. Yeah, I guess it is real. It does. Yeah, it really does. Really I mean, fast. honestly, just the other day with December 1st, I'm getting emojis. I'm popping. Anyway, how are you? You hide. <laughs> you hide. 
Oh, y'all go no, together. I love now. this though because this is really, you know, I'm always like, okay, anyway, how up? <laughs> you know, finish with yours. No, no, no. <laughs> I have my time. Okay, what's the question? What do you feel like is a traditional relationship? I agree with what Y said the whole courting first, then you guys are dating, then a relationship. But I don't believe in like the time frame that he's right. talking about. Like I believe that when you feel like it's right, it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Phone's going off. Exact, huh? His phone's going off. Yeah, it she is. she loving the wise yes. man today. Now you know us girls. We hit our shorties. Shout us out. Yes, boo. That's my boo. No, he my, shouted me out. <laughs> no, my mother's hit me up too. Cause oh. she she already knew. <laughs> she already. I told her last week. So. So Why are you just that. telling everybody? You just make it official on air now. Nah, because like I, you have to respect the process. Yeah. 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 I don't respect, oh, the, my, process. respect the process. I just go with the flow. Cause my boo, I'm just saying, girl. If you listening, if it was my boo and he's already telling me in a week I'm gonna make you my girl, I'm just gonna be like, listen, make it official right now. No, it's sitting no, out. See, it's all about it's all about you guys. And I, you know what? I had this dope analogy last night. You know, we were talking about you know compromise and whatnot. And I had a tissue from Chipotle, right? And tissue from Chipotle, <laughs> it wasn't for real. I'm, I'm, I'll show you how we go on break. But it was, it was You still folded. have the tissue? No, I have multiple tissues from Chipotle in my book. <laughs> I, I, I took mad stuff. Anyway, so you, um, they, it had like so a line. Silly. It had a line, not specifically in the middle of the tissue, but more so on one, on one side. So I said, okay, look, this is your side of comfortability and this is my side of comfortability. You know, in a relationship, we're supposed to compromise. So by the end, by while we're in that relationship, that line should get to the middle where we each, you know, know how comfortable we are about things, and we compromise about what we aren't. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that was the concept I gave her in the same situation. Okay. You know, don't okay. pressure me to do something because if I do it to you, you won't like it. Oh, okay. That's a, but that's a, that's a fact though. Well, yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. I know. It's true, it's true. Good. Hmm. There we go. I yeah. I understand. You never told me what your thing was. My thing was what? Oh, you did. Your traditional relationship. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. I said that I like um. It's the whole you guys are courting first and you are dating then mm -hmm. a relationship. But I don't believe in the it's timing. Yeah. I agree. Like I feel like with if it's if it's if it feels right, then it's gonna happen. Right. Absolutely, I agree. But you shouldn't wait two years. That's what I'm saying. Listen, <laughs> Is that two years? years for marriage or two years? Two years and to get into a relationship. That's old. Who's but waiting no, 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 for no. two years? <laughs> Who is this person waiting for two years? Listen, listen, listen. Who is this person? Girl, listen. there's people out here. There's I'm not going to throw no shade. I'm not going to throw no shade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not throwing no shit. First of all, if you're a female and you wait and you, you're making him wait for two years. Wait, wait make him... To get into a relationship? What about the other way around? Yeah, what about the other way around? If he's a guy and he's making you wait for two years, right. oh, he's clearly not that interested. Well, clearly. obviously. <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Damn, I have to tell my homegirl about this. Now, let's clearly. say something. I was going to wait to make a speak, but I'm saying now. All right, this is my thing. But the whole thing about when you're traditional done, relationships, mm -hmm. this is what I feel like. Courting, of course. I'm all, I'm all for the courting, all for the dating. Mm -hmm. But think about about 50 years ago. Like, you know how I feel like boyfriend and girlfriend doesn't exist? Okay, yeah. So, I just feel like from courting or dating, it might be a year or two because <laughs> right after that, we're going to get married. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, this, is, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, like, I'm going to be dating you for a while. Like, I'm going to be I might. I might. I don't know. I can't put a time frame on it. Okay. It's, when things happen, things happen. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be like, oh, whatever. But I'm not going to really be in a relationship with you as a girlfriend because I feel like... Why some like nowadays? I feel like get into it for a purpose. Yeah, I feel like I feel like people are doing what husband and wife supposed to be doing. Okay, as boyfriend and girlfriend. And I don't like and that. that. And that that there's no purpose. That defeats the purpose yeah, of marriage. Like you that. know what? You know what? There's some truth to that, but you have to know. I know what you're saying, but back you, then they didn't have, do that though. I, I understand. You know what I mean? Like what happened? The, when did it change? Like listen, in the twenties. Back in the day. People was effed up. 2014, people still effed up. It don't matter whether, you know, how far back we go. The situations of marriage and stuff are still messed up. You know, no one did it. No one did it right. Everyone had their own ideas to how to okay. do it. For me, I can't date. I can't envision myself marrying someone without knowing 
how they're gonna handle marriage situations, you know? Like so there's something that you can't that you're not gonna be able to handle like I understand what you're like saying. healthcare. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna know mm -hmm. if you're gonna if you're gonna run up my health my, my, my health plan with mm -hmm. all your, your nonsense. But I feel like that's a part of dating though. I'm but, getting to know all of these things about you. No, because you're not you you're not on my health plan if we not No, you're not. You. No, you're not. So I'm saying, right. I, I don't I don't know that situation, but I do wanna know if you snore. I do want to know That's if That's why you, you do the occasional sleepover. Right, like but maybe people we are actually, movie tonight. Yeah, but is that, is that, are you dating and doing that or are you in a relationship? I don't say it really is a relationship. Like, I'm why? weird. I really don't, like the whole word relationship means like marriage. That means like this is serious. Because think about it this way. When you fill out an application, this is what I always refer to it back. It's okay. always single, divorce, or marriage. There's no relationship in between. There's no boyfriend, girlfriend. That yeah, don't exist. True, true, true. I understand that. Okay, okay, here's the thing. I understand that. Like, okay. Here's the thing, okay. So you date someone to figure out whether or not you want to be in a relationship with this person. Yes. yes. While you're in a relationship with this person, yes. you're figuring out whether or not you want to marry this Correct. person. Correct. So your dating process tells you that this person has the potential for marriage, right? So you have the end goal at the end. But you have to go through the relationship in order to understand whether or not it's able. Right. You can have potential. Process. Exactly. I understand the process. And that sounds logical, right? But... I don't know. Because like, here's the thing. If you're going to date someone for two years, mm -hmm. right? And I'm assuming dating means I have the I have the the liberty to date someone else as well. Yes. Would you want that? Do you? It's not that I don't want it, but I I really you not tell me that's that's what that's no. the that's the kind no, of person you, I am now. But then then already if I'm in dating, the relationship, you are able to date too. Yeah, but in, in, that means that our relationship already is full of untrust. Like, yeah. If you don't want me to tell you something, then we already have a, a foundation that is not solid. So how are we gonna build into he's, a marriage he's from the that? Point. Yeah. He's the point. For me, the thing about it is that the reason why I am I'm okay with exclusive dating mm -hmm. is because if I'm dating three people, it's not a process of elimination. How can I give? How can I give my? I, I, I don't, you know, like like how can mm -hmm. I give my my full attention to someone if I got three other people I gotta deal with? Mm -hmm. like, we can't handle late night conversations, boo. But I got three other chicks. I got two other. You chicks. can you can do it if you plan them accordingly. <laughs> no, I ain't got no time for that. I'm too over. Nine thirty to ten fifteen. Give my time. Then the next, you know, yo, take a two minute break. I can't do that, yo. Nah, I actually did get. Uh, this is why I think I'm single still now is mm -hmm. because um, of that theory of yeah. process of elimination and uh -huh. I'm dating. But usually when I do date somebody, it's usually just that person. Like, honestly. Uh, I mean, yeah, I talk me a lot of, of shit, but it's usually just that one person because I can't keep up with everybody. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's just I can't. And I, honestly, uh, a lot of times people don't keep my interest. It's really yeah, hard yeah, to keep yeah. my interest. Shoot, shoot. Really yeah, hard. Like, what well, can we so, talk about? So, you, so your problem is not necessarily the theory. It's the engagement with the guy. So you've mm -hmm. not met that guy. Exactly. That's what it is. Exactly. Uh, uh -huh. No, it's true. I haven't. It's well, definitely true. Well, shout out to Ego. Uh, he posted in our chat room that I certainly was not checking out, but shout out to you for that DM. He said, I need a non traditional relationship with Ty and Hawa. I also need two weeks' notice before they dip. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm tired of you, Echo. <laughs> <laughs> my friend just said, Mr. Accent is talking them things, them. There you go. See? Thanks, See? 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 Nah, really yeah. Fun. So, you know, honestly, folks, honestly, folks, this is a big topic. You want you guys to call it? The number is 516-900-2278. We're about to swing it to DJ Mega real quick for a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to continue our Part topic. Part two. Part two. Yes, yes. And we back, folks. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into the Uncle Radio Show, broadcasting live from Soundcast FM. This is your boy Wise. Your girl Ty Dollar Sign. And how was he? And of course, I was DJ Mega at By Far Mega, rocking out with us, y'all. Shout out, shout out to um Megan at Megan the Mogul. She said y'all jamming. Yes. Hey girl. Awesome. That's her slow jam. Shout, shout out to her. Meg She's Meg. having an event Friday. Yes, a she poetry is. thing. Um, at thing. Nevin's Nevada Smith. Nevada Smith. Yeah. There yes. you go. Now. I'll, Again, we, we're in the four love segments. It's part two. I want to shout out DJ Megalo. He said, I'll be going back and forth between do I want to be in a relationship mm -hmm. or not. Or I, not. I would like that for a little while as well. But, you know, I, I, I like companionship. Yeah. I do too. I actually, I really enjoy to be with one person. I, mm -hmm. I'm not even going to front. Like, I like to be like, okay, this is my man. I don't got to worry. Like, yeah. I got him. But at the same time, I'm... I don't like opening up anymore. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. To open I don't. Too. I don't. I don't want to tell you how I feel. I don't want to tell you what I'm feeling like. So I just stay away every so you're time. You're not ready. You're not ready. Mm -mm. You're not I don't ready. think so. You're not ready right now. No. I don't think so. 
so. Alright, so come back, come back to part two. What I want to know now is why do you think, um, do you think that this new tradition of, I guess, relationships that we call new, mm -hmm. do you think it's more successful or not? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, I just changed my whole strategy about relationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> about well, I mean, I think that what's happening now is that we are creating our own traditional relationships, which mm -hmm. is okay. At first, I, I didn't agree with it, but mm -hmm. now that we back from the commercial break and I heard everyone's opinions. <laughs> um, Wait, what's what's the new traditional relationship? Everybody has their own. Like yeah. everybody has their, their own. Their own. It's not like I can anymore. cap it as this is a traditional relationship. You're yeah. gonna date. You're gonna get married. You're gonna have kids. It don't always work like that. Yeah, the new tradition okay. is that there is no tradition. Right. That is the. That is it. That, that's pretty much what I. What I, I mean, I still, I still like to be old school. Like I really still like to date you for a while and then get married because sometimes, okay, me. I'm my way, but what if you think that, okay, well, I don't got to marry her. She's doing everything already that, you know, a wife would do. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's why I That's what I fear. Uh, no, no, exactly. No, 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 no. Like it, the cooking and the cleaning and we're living together. I'm not living with no, you. We're not married. No. Yeah, but that, then the, your theory of marriage is wrong. Then. I understand. <sighs> okay, tell me what okay, first of, Okay, first of all, you must understand that marriage is 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 a spiritual form yes, of bond. Yes, so you right? do. It's mm -hmm. a spiritual form of bond. The reason why I want to marry you is because I want our spirits to, to, be one. to be infinite together. Oh. Meaning, with the belief that once we leave this earth, we'll yes, still be together, together mm -hmm. right? That's me. That's how much I love you, yeah. yes. right? That's what I want. Yeah. That's why you marry someone. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're, you, you guys live together and yet you don't feel the need to get married, everybody has their opinion. You don't mm -hmm. have to do it. Don Cheadle has mm -hmm. been with his girlfriend for 38 years. They have children. They're not married. Mm -hmm. that's it's a, okay. Yeah, some things do work with certain people. Right. That just means that his beliefs are different. Right. That's mm -hmm. it. But you have to, I, I think you need to, you need to know that from early up. You have right. to. You have to know. But some people go into it, they know it, but they think they can, they can they change, can change it. it. They can change his or her people mind. People have to stop doing that. People have to stop doing that. Because I used to do that yeah, a lot. Yes, some people, yes, some people do change. Change, but you can't go in expecting change. That's mm, when people fall off. Exactly. You can't go in expecting change. You can hope, mm -hmm. but you can't. You can't put your whole situation. I, I'm gonna change him. On, I'm gonna change exactly. her. Exactly. You know nah. that's not gonna work. Nah. That's, that's not gonna work. But you know, honestly, I, I agree completely. I do too. I you know, I'm very spiritual. You know, this is my whole life. Like yeah. we are, and I feel like when I marry you, we're one, and I'm so strong in that. Like I'm, I'm so strong in this, in this, in this afterlife love where we all continue in our bond. Like I'm really strong in that. Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, I'm laughing because it's tweet we just got out of a. He's uh, we got a tweet from Twitter, obviously. <laughs> at all the at all underscore the hope you need. She said that man with the accent. How old is he? Let me hook him up with my sister. <laughs> everybody, yo, everybody is seeing that. Look, 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 right here. Oh my my text messages right now. I got a, I got an emoji with the eyes. I got an ear. Missed the accent. <laughs> right now. Listen, people. Listen, people. Respect the relationships. Respect people's relationships. Yes. Good. But I still want to know, like, okay, you say you don't know, Howard. Do you feel like, um, you know, that there's not, our tradition is not traditional for relationships? No. It's, it's, no, no, no. Do you feel like it's successful in today's society? Obviously not if everybody's getting broken up and divorces oh, and God. stuff. Like, You know what? Let me tell you something. I think this, and this, this was my problem. I had this whole idea of new, new rules for, mm -hmm. you know, relationships, mm -hmm. right? And it didn't work out. I think that the, the problem is that when we start off, or when we maybe when we're younger or whatever it is, we don't understand our roles. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I hate I hate traditional roles, the gender roles, male do this, With a guy, female yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. But but what makes relationships successful with this whole with the tradition thing is that people, if you understand your role. It makes your life a hell of a lot easier. Oh, but if if each of you are, you know, just kind of moving around relationship, feeling just feeling each other out, not knowing what role you have, mm -hmm. it makes it a little bit more difficult. I'm not saying that it doesn't work or mm -hmm. it can't work for you, It'll but it didn't, it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me at all. I know my role now, and you know I play my role. And if you know my almost girlfriend don't want to play her role, I'll pick up her slack too. We about to make this work. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man. Nah, but um, I'm just sorry. I'm getting so much about Mr. Accent right here. Like yeah. she's my friend is like, yo, is he single? He gotta be in relationship with a, with thinking like that with a mind. But anyway, 
Um, what I want to know, though, is to, um, is it okay to be in a relationship that, like, we're going back to the marriage, that mm -hmm. doesn't result in marriage? Like, because honestly, we're all raised, I feel like, it, no matter almost any culture, to be brought up that marriage is the end. Like, that, yeah, not the end in the sense where, but mm -hmm. that's what, that's the goal. That's what, that's what you're supposed to do in life. You're supposed yeah. to get married. You're supposed mm -hmm. to have kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're in a society where things happen differently. Yeah. You know, and, you know, is that, is that okay to think that way, do you feel? No, because everything works differently for everybody mm -hmm. here. So, like, maybe someone doesn't want to have kids after they're married. Maybe they want to have kids now, and if they're ready to get married, then they'll do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, for a long time, I didn't want to get married at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I now see the error in my ways, and I'd rather get married now because marriage, like, like Ed Ben said, marriage is very spiritual. Very. Right? And I think, my own personal opinion, I think that people rather work out a marriage than work out a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Right. No, like you said, there's single, divorced, mm -hmm. and widow, pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah. you know, yeah. on, on, that, on the list of, of things to classify yourself. Mm -hmm. So people, without that commitment, people just feel like, okay, well, I'm done. Right. You know? mm -hmm. So I definitely do understand the whole uh, relationship thing and marriage thing. I don't think that anyone is seen as lesser for having kids first and then getting married or being married and then having kids. I don't think anyone is seen as lesser for that. Not in this day and age. 2014, no. Maybe in the I think I'm still, I think I'm this old school a little bit. Maybe in the 70s, the 80s, and 90s, the general consensus of society was do it the right way, quote unquote, the right way. You know, now in 2014, we're way more open to things. Way more open to things. I mean, we obviously, you know, here in America, we have, well, the fight now is for you know gay marriage mm -hmm. across the United States. Right. Mm -hmm. You know some people are for it, some people aren't for it. You know, but at the same time, we as a society are sh are shifting to acceptance of that and of and acceptance of people who aren't married mm -hmm. and people who are who choose to be single mothers and single fathers. You know, so we definitely are more open to things now. But I mean, like you said. You said general consensus, right? Mm -hmm. So what you so what you're talking about is you're talking about reputation. What does society oh, say about yes. you, yes, right? That is. And that's the problem with, oh, yeah, with people problem. in a relationship. Oh, yeah. You're thinking about how you look mm -hmm. when you're supposed to be thinking about what you're actually doing. So, see, if you focus, if you focus on just loving that person, mm -hmm. right? There's nothing. There's nothing. Society, no person, no alligator, no nothing, no president in the world can tell you anything about this person yes. because you truly love them. Mm -hmm. And then that will speak for itself. Yeah. When you start thinking about, is this going to end in a marriage? You're thinking about what are people going to say if it doesn't end in a marriage? Mm -hmm. What are people are going to say about me, their perception of me, if this and that does not happen? Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking about what other people are going to say in our relationship, then you're not really, I'm, I'm, not, getting, I'm not getting you. Yeah. I'm getting what you think people are going to want to see from me. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. How can you have a relationship in that? And I'm not. You see, yo, you need to break this down. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I, I, I truly know what you mean because a lot of times for me personally, I just want to like. I, back in the day, when I was with my ex, brother. Some sometimes I just wanted to get up and run away with him. Like that's how because we. We, it wasn't just me and him. It was me and him and everybody else. Mm -hmm. And and I knew that he loved me and I loved him, even though we were crazy. But I feel like if we lived on the island by ourselves, it'd be just happy bliss. Yeah. But that's not reality. Yeah, not at all. It's not reality. Not and I all. and based on that, like you know, I feel like that influences a lot of traditional relationships today. Like, what do you feel like? Are some influences on this non-traditional traditional relationship today? Ah. Uh. I would have to say, and I mean, I really hate to blame this on social media, but social media, really, we, we really do promote, uh, no, you know, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I would say that the success of other people, other people's relationships gives us the, okay, the okay, the foresight to say, all right, well, you know what, if she did it, I could do it, or mm -hmm. if he did it, I could do it. You know, if I want to... If I want to grow up, or if I grew up in a if I grew up in a situation where uh, my parents were sit uh, separated, and I came out of it successful, then I could do the same thing with my with my child. Mm -hmm. Or you know, it, like they see it from their from their experiences, but not from anything else. I will I will not put that on social media. I won't do it to myself. Not today. 
I wanted to stay away from social media as well as being an influence yeah. because I felt like it was changing way before social media came I into. Agree. But you now know. it's just like more. I, it is definitely, but I feel like with social media, it influences people to kind of want to be in a relationship more, but it's losing the meaning of what a relationship is. Yeah. Like, everybody wants to be in a relationship to mm -hmm. post pictures of each other, mm -hmm. like, that's my man, Goodbye. that's my girl, mm -hmm. but that's, what? what is that? That's, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm confused. Nope. That's mm -hmm. not what it means to be in a relationship. What about nope. social icons? Like, Beyonce, Beyonce Jay -Z. and Jay-Z. Yeah. Like, the picture of them eating breakfast, like, yeah. I mean, you can't, like, you can look at that and, and I hope you take it in good for us, and yeah, I'm gonna, but you, no. That's some you don't know what they do behind closed doors. Yeah. You you can't you can't compare your relationship to them. Even Kanye and, and Kim. And Kim. I mean you just you can't I mean everybody is looking up to these people and like, yes, I wanna be in this relationship with them. And the the whole thing with Kim and Kanye is because, you know, Kim had a crazy background, right? Mm -hmm. So we so we know because she's in a public eye. Yeah. Everybody could have a crazy background. Yeah. You understand what, what I'm about, saying? What about uh, the the first black couple that everyone said if they break up then I know there's no hope. For Beyonce, marriage. I mean no, Obama, Will Smith, no, and Jada. Jada, Will Smith and Jada. Well, they have a swingers relationship though. Doesn't matter. They have a relationship. They're still married. Yeah, they're they, still together. Yeah, you know, and then now our new our new oh my god, if they break up. Obama, there's no hope and, for black. Obama, no, and no, Michelle. Obama, yeah. I just you can't even say that oh my god they break up. You don't know what it, what are they going through. Maybe mm -hmm. they break up for the best so that they can remain. Friends. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people get to a point where, you know, they can't be together mm -hmm. for the sake of in a relationship and love and, you know, but, because I just did, um, uh, what's her name? Um, I forgot. It doesn't matter. But anyway, some, some Hollywood couple, they just broke up as well. Mm -hmm. He's in, um, he's in some band and she's an actress and they broke up because, oh, whatever, Gwyneth Prothero and her Yeah, I remember yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they broke up, but they're still great friends. Sometimes you just come to a point where you can't be together. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just because they can't be together now is also a hope for everybody. But you know what, though? Sometimes it's hard to, to say. Very I can't hard. Be, I don't, I don't want to be with, together with you anymore. I think it that is. takes a lot of love for one another to, take, go, to get take. to that point to establish this and, and still be mm -hmm. cool with each other. Yeah, it does take a lot. And I respect it. I, I mean, that I actually gives me more hope. Does it really? Yes, it does. Because it's like, okay, great. I can, you know, I could be with him. I could break up, and we could still be friends. That don't, that don't exist that to me. That's never that don't exist to me. Anymore. I can't break up with you if I was in deeply, deeply, madly in love with you, mm -hmm. and be your friend tomorrow. Yeah. No. Well, you don't have to be their friend tomorrow, but eventually. You eventually, can, hopefully. If you if you mutually separate, like I I speak from experience. So mm -hmm. my all my ex girlfriends since I was seven years old, I'm all friends <laughs> with them. I'm, I'm friends all with friends all my with them. Exes too, all of them. Yeah, because you have a mutual understanding. You have you, we separated because of this reason, and we mm -hmm. both understand it. Yeah. But the fact that we're in a relationship in the first place means that there's something about you that I right. admire, yes. right. and that's yeah. not gonna go away. Yeah. Right. So why am I gonna why am I gonna not experience what I admire about you? Not in the sense of intimacy, because we don't have to be intimate to experience mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But why am I gonna not experience it just because of the fact that we broke up? Mm -hmm. Isn't that doesn't that sound a little bit childish? I need it's, you to write a book. Um, I think it's selfish. <laughs> yeah, I need you to write selfish. a book. That's what I think it is. And and I'm and I'm, and I'm saying it. I'm selfish. I don't. I don't. And I and I was on the other end where I was the one who you know I can't deal with you because I don't like you because I can't because I can't be with you so I don't want to deal with you period yeah. you understand but then I was on the other end where I wanted him to still deal with me even though we couldn't be together you understand yeah. what I'm saying so I felt both Very ends selfish. of it selfish and I, I felt and I called him selfish I called him selfish because I wanted him to be my friend still Damn. after we weren't together and I'm thinking like nah he did the same thing I did to my ex-boyfriend you understand what I'm saying <laughs> oh man but you, look at that we're already out of time it's 7.52. See where the time goes? It's 7.52. Well, folks, if you want to continue the conversation, definitely just hit us up on Twitter. I am at I am underscore W-I-Z-E. How is your ad name? Underscore T-I-Y underscore. How would they? Sincerely underscore H-A-W-A. And, of course, we got DJ Mega. At Bob Fall Mega. And I was going to say his article. I was like, I know that Mega not looking at me. He's not going to catch my key. Whatever. But, you know, we want to definitely, you know what? Our entire show... Our entire show, this entire segment was... Sponsored by... <laughs> Ty and Edward Bay, our, our engineer. He used to write uh, a book. Y yo, he... Every, my my timeline is lit and Yeah, from my texts, everything is lit. The time <laughs> is lit from him right now. Definitely. But I have to actually <laughs> shout out um, to Joint Interest. They are yes. sponsoring this segment now. All right. So, yeah. All shout right. out to you guys for sponsoring For the Love. Oh, shout out wow. to our videographer, Chris. Most yes, definitely. catch him on social media, Chris Jacks K 
Pam. Did I say it right? Boom. We out you. You can spell it. Spell it. Spell it, everybody. Oh, man. C-H-R-I-S-J-A-C-K-S-C-A-M.